right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tyson Fury. Well, just when you think you've seen it all, I submit to you a Tyson Fury octagon walk. He accomplished so many things in the boxing world. A lot of people reference that rematch with Deontay Wilder as his crowning achievement. But now is he biting off more than he can chew? You may have seen the videos online. He was training with Darren Till. No denying his gifts and his acumen on the feet. But the question beckons, if one of these elite heavyweights shoots at his legs, will Tyson Fury be able to stop the takedown? Big picture, though, as he smiles as he walks to the octagon. Fear is not a factor for this man. The magnitude of the moment is not a factor for this man, and he's the ultimate competitor. I'm excited to watch him compete here tonight. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight, should be. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Fury gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Another clinch position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. Swing.
swing and a miss by Nurmago Meta. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Meta. You're always thinking restless when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. A couple of chins here being tested early. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Really gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Straight right hand, no good. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Nermago Medov. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Fury gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Just misses there with the left. Straight to the body by Tyson Fury. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. All right, he engages in a simple follow tie here. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either ground and pound, or he can chase submission. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. He's postured up. He's landed big grind palm. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's going to get stopped. <laughs> 37 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. with that attempt. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And that left hook landed on the button. Such a fast leg kick. It's very tricky when you throw that body kick. Effective punch there by Fury. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. One, two there by Tyson Fury. First round winding down here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. 
see turning defense into offense. Blocks the strike, counters with the jab. He's got a good reach advantage in this matchup, and it certainly looked pretty pronounced in that exchange. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Going to the body there with the right kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge knee land. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Fury's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, side control now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Tyson Fury. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Nurmagomedov's back in full mount. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. I mean, how many can he take? Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Nurmago Medov's right back to the full mount. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound companies. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Marco Medovs has got full mount now. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching the up and making his punches count while not putting himself in Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting, and it showed tonight in this big submission victory. It's over. It's over. What a fight. 
Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. What an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he's on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually he found one tonight and got the desired result.